Patrick Brown, CEO of Impossible Foods, believes that all meat consumption could end by 2035. The world must take him seriously because Impossible Foods has successfully disrupted the meat industry worth billions of dollars. But how did this sustainable fake meat company grow into a multi-billion dollar empire? To find out, let's dissect Impossible Foods' business model. Impossible Foods is a company that innovates plant-based meat alternatives. The company's goal is to create a meat substitute that looks and tastes like meat while maintaining the nutritional benefits. Impossible Foods focuses on molecular research into animal products to find the best plant-based proteins and nutrients to create the most authentic fake meat products possible. The company began with its famous Impossible Burgers and has since expanded to include many plant-based products and minced beef products. Impossible Foods began in 2009 when the company's founder and CEO Patrick Brown took an 18-month hiatus from his job. He was a Stanford professor who specialized in gene mapping and his mission was to eliminate what he considered the world's most environmentally destructive problem, industrial meat production. He began by holding a workshop titled The Role of Animal Agriculture in a Sustainable 21st Century Global Food System, where he attempted to educate people about the scope of the problem. Due to the workshop's lack of success, he realized that eliminating meat from people's diets was nearly impossible. As a result, he determined that the next big thing to do was move away from using animals for meat production. Brown proposed that meat eaters would no longer need to rely on animals for food if we started using plant-based sources to replicate the meat we eat. He wanted to take over the free market and beat the meat industry with a better, more sustainable alternative from an economic standpoint. So what makes Impossible Foods unique? When Patrick Brown founded Impossible Foods in 2009, many plant-based meat companies were already on the market. However, most, if not all, had hardly made significant inroads. Brown figured out that because the companies targeted vegetarians and vegans, they did not see the need to replicate the exact taste of real meat. Armed with this knowledge, Brown made the risky but bold decision not to solely appeal to vegetarians or vegans, but to create a product for meat eaters. Impossible Foods wanted to reach out to meat eaters and tell them that the company could meet their dietary needs without employing cruel animal farming practices. However, the business idea alone was not enough. Brown had to figure out how to make Impossible Food products taste like meat to succeed. So, he went back to the drawing board and figured out why people were so fond of meat. The CEO soaked up as much information as possible about the biochemical reactions in our bodies when we eat meat. He attempted to replicate those reactions using plant-based ingredients by combining different proteins and fatty acids. No one had tried a scientific approach like this before. This innovative approach persuaded venture capitalists to provide Brown with the seed money he needed to kickstart the project. Investors helped Impossible Foods raise 3 million US dollars in its first round of funding, despite Brown's lack of business experience. Investors were mightily impressed by his scientific background, which made up for his inexperience. Among the investors were a legendary rapper and an iconic athlete whom you learn of. Brown would be able to focus on all his resources on the meat industry, rather than waste time pursuing small competitors. But, of course, bringing such a revolutionary idea to fruition would take time. From 2011 to 2016, Brown's team worked on a product they could put into the market. In that time frame, the team's research and development efforts were complemented by investor support. The first year following its launch saw the company's focus entirely on research and development. Consequently, they created a plant-based heme molecule responsible for minced beef's taste and texture. Due to this breakthrough, Impossible Foods raised another round of funding, exceeding 75 million US dollars. In 2016, the company launched its flagship product, the Impossible Burger. Impossible Foods Business Model 
Impossible Foods realized the need to devise a marketing strategy before launching their pace setting product. Eventually, they targeted celebrities and celebrity chefs. They ultimately received investments from Jay-Z and Serena Williams. The first restaurant to ever serve an Impossible Burger was David Chang's New York City restaurant. David Chang is an American celebrity restaurateur, author, podcaster, television personality, and founder of the Momo Fuku restaurant group. The Impossible Burger lived up to expectations even though it was exclusively supplied to high-end restaurants at the early stages. The company decided to narrow its customer base because it could not afford to mass produce due to financial constraints. Because of the low volume of production, a single Impossible Burger cost around $13.95, a price that not everyone could afford. Brown was well aware that he needed to increase his output quickly. As a result, he decided to relocate to a giant factory in Oakland, where they began producing approximately 4 million burgers a month. As supply met demand, Impossible Foods later reduced its unit price because it could fulfill larger contract volumes. Impossible Foods began to supply its product throughout the United States gradually. By July 2018, two years after its debut in New York, the Impossible Burger had gone international and was available at approximately 3,000 locations in the United States and Hong Kong. The following year, Burger King announced a collaboration with Impossible Burger to create the Impossible Whopper, a plant-based version of the Whopper. The partnership allowed more people to sample the Impossible Burger meat. Not long after, the Impossible Burger was available for purchase at local grocery stores. In fact, by April 2019, demand for the Impossible Whopper had outpaced production to the point where, due to a deficit in workforce numbers, R&D workers and scientists volunteered to flip patties on the production line during the 12-hour shifts required for tripling production. The Impossible Burger has become a powerhouse in the food industry. Today, the company's meat alternatives are available in over 30,000 restaurant locations, including major chains like Starbucks. Of course, Brown didn't want to stop there. After all, a total takedown of the meat industry will necessitate a much greater effort. Brown decided to relaunch his iconic Impossible Burgers in 2019 by developing an entirely new formula for them. The Impossible Burger 2.0 was gluten-free with soy protein in place of wheat. According to Brown, this version was tastier, juicier and more nutritious with 10 times the nutrients found in plant-based meat. So the Impossible Meat not only tastes like real meat, but it is arguably better than real meat. After a successful run of the Impossible Burger 2.0, Brown decided to launch his second product, the Impossible Sausage. The Impossible Sausage sandwiches are now available at various restaurants, including Burger King and Starbucks. In September 2021, the Impossible Chicken Nuggets first appeared on the menus of a few celebrity chef-owned restaurants, including David Chang's Fried Chicken Joint in New York City. The veg-friendly nuggets are now available in more restaurants. For example, Burger King is testing them in a few locations. Moreover, the nuggets can be found in the freezer aisle of a growing number of grocery stores across the US, including ShopRite and Kroger. Impossible Foods' main competitor in the market is the public company Beyond Meat. Because Impossible Foods genetically modifies ingredients and proteins to make your fake meat burger taste meatier, specific demographics prefer Beyond Meat. In contrast, Beyond Meat does not use any synthetic ingredients to produce its plant-based meat product. However, Impossible Foods outsells the latter by a large margin. Impossible Foods recently had to decline a deal with McDonald's because they lacked the resources needed to meet customer demands. Another issue that Impossible Foods has recently faced is the nutritionists such as Diane Rogers have questioned the company's ingredients, particularly the genetically modified soy. Consumers accuse the company of greenwashing since they regard its products as merely another case of marketing highly processed foods made from cheap raw ingredients as cleaner and healthier. Greenwashing refers to creating a false impression or providing misleading information about how a company's products are better for the environment. 
However, the larger food industry has come out to support Impossible Foods. Whole Foods CEO John Mackey said that if Impossible products were substandard, he would never endorse them, demonstrating his faith in Brown and his brand. Additionally, a potential threat to the plant-based industry is a petition launched by the US Cattlesmen Association, requesting that plant-based meat alternatives not be referred to as meat, steak or sausage. Such a ban will pose a branding challenge to Impossible Foods and other players in the plant-based meat industry. In the comment box, show your creativity by proposing an alternative name to call plant-based meat. Despite these challenges, the company's total valuation is currently around 4 billion US dollars, with investments from Microsoft and celebrities such as Katy Perry, Jaden Smith and Trevor Noah. It's clear that the company has amazed an extensive list of supporters for its cause, raising billions of dollars in valuation over the years. Impossible Foods is reportedly seeking 500 million dollars in a new round of funding which will shoot the company's valuation up to 7 billion US dollars. Impossible Foods is currently planning to go public. It won't happen before the end of the year, and it might not happen until the end of the recent boom in food IPO. Nonetheless, CEO Patrick Brown is confident that the company will go public soon. Another massive win for the plant-based industry. Impossible Foods intends to broaden its product line and expand its fake meat line in the future. In addition, the company plans to double the size of its research team to develop and test a prototype of dairy-free Impossible Milk. And if it's anything like their meat-free meat, the company will undoubtedly extend its winning streak. Want to learn about the excellent business model that a world-famous company employs? Kindly check out our video on Coca-Cola. See you there.